Hi and welcome back to Bill's Sickly Room. Today I'm going to do a species profile on the Amatelania sejaica. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button. It does help me out an awful lot. And if you click the bell notification, you'll get a text message next time I put a video up. Amelania sejaica, or as it's more commonly known, the tea bar cichlid. It comes from Costa Rica and is found in rivers. It was actually named after Salvador Jimenez Canzo, who was the director of the Library of Congress of Costa Rica. What they did is they took the first two letters from each of his three names and come up with Sejaica. Like all the Amatelania species, um, they don't actually get that big in the aquarium. The males come to about five inches max with the females a little bit smaller. This is a young pair that I've picked up a couple of weeks ago that I've got in a small tank growing on. Um, you can sex them quite easy. The males have red on the fins and the females have a yellow tinge to the fins. The armivore species, they'll eat most things that you put into the tank for them. All your normal flake food, pellets, frozen food, live food, just about anything really. They get the common name T-bar cichlid because as you can see they, they have vertical bars on the body and the middle one actually forms a T-shape with the with the line that goes across. Very easy to, to look after. The water parameters, the pH anywhere between 6.5 and 7.5, they're not too fussy, they can adapt. Um, the temperature range again between like 72, 73 up to about 82. Again, they don't mind so much if it's if it's either side, but it's probably best to keep it in the middle, about 77, 78. Really interesting species to keep. Um, they're quite easy to breed once they get to size. The males, the adult males, they actually do develop a hump on the on the forehead. Um, and yeah, they, as I say, like the, this is only a young pair that I've got. So I'll I'll put a picture up of a pair that I had breeding many years ago. Um, so yeah, they, a good addition to the fish room. Um, you do see them quite often in fish shops, so if you do get the opportunity, I'd well recommend uh, keeping them. Um, if you've never tried Central American cichlids before, uh, this is a good introduction to them. You know, they, in the wild, the habitat it is becoming endangered, uh, so they're actually classed as vulnerable on the cares list. So yeah, it's up to us hobbyists to do all we can to keep them going. As I say, if you get the opportunity, I'm sure you wouldn't regret getting them. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, that's about it for this week. Uh, and catch you all next time.